Hi, I'm James, and today I'm going to be taking you through the iMyMap project management system, giving you a quick overview of what it is and what you can do with it. Okay, so you've got your map, go into project view, and the first thing you'll see is the top half of the screen is, uh, is the actual map itself, the bottom half is taken up with tasks and the project management Gantt chart on the right hand side. Now, you'll also notice that you get a contextual project tab which has a couple of, uh, couple of features. One, one of the features is whether to show the mind map or not. If you're a purist in, in terms of Gantt charts, you might want to uh, turn the mind map off for this section, or if you want to see a lot of tasks all at once. Uh, the task side panel is another important part of the project management system. I'll get that open now. Uh, this is uh, contextual, so it shows the, the information for the currently selected branches. Uh, when you select a branch here or here, then it'll update um, whichever way around you, you want to, to work. Now, as you can see, I've, uh, I've set up some of these tests already. Um, these already have a predecessor assigned to them, so I'll just give you a quick overview of how to set a predecessor. Now, assuming this task here can't start until this task is completed, we can set a predecessor on this task. So predecessors and a predecessor, it's going to be on the task Gantt. So let me just have a look for that. Gantt. And the default type is end start. So the end of this Gantt chart task is the start of this task. Now if we want to extend this task you'll see that the dependent task moves along with it. This functionality is controlled by the auto schedule. When turning off the auto schedule, you can move these around as much as you want and it's up to you to make sure that predecessors are in line. Turn auto schedule back off, uh, back on. Uh, you'll see that when we move the task back it pushes the uh, the next task in line along with it <coughs> okay there's uh, a few different types of uh, predecessors that you can use I won't go through all of them now but um, you can have a play with those different types of uh, predecessors Right, uh, the other thing that I wanted to cover was uh, the sync system. You can sync your tasks and milestones to Outlook on Windows. These are synchronized once they go out to Outlook. So once you've sent your tasks or milestones out to Outlook, if you change them in Outlook and sync again, the changes will come back into iMindMap. Now, any changes in iMindMap win in terms of conflicts. So if you've changed them in both in iMindMap and in Outlook, the ones in iMindMap will take precedence and, and those will be the final changes. Okay, now this has been a whirlwind tour of the um, of the project management system. Uh, you can obviously spend a bit of time playing with it, but this is pretty much what you need to know to get, get going with it. Uh, any questions, you can drop us a line at support, but otherwise, get, get into it, get playing with it, and have a good time doing project management in iMindMap.